Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a bubble chart with multiple series of data. So in this example we have a bubble chart that has two series of data. Maybe this is a categorization for north and this is a series this is a series of data for north, this is a series of data for south. We have our x, y, and c values. Basically our x values are where on the horizontal axis does it sit. The y values are where in the vertical axis does it sit and the Z gives it its size. So for example, if I click on this particular, well, let me click, click the blue one since I was on north. If I click on this one and just click that one, you will know that this is one of the uh, north, the values for north here. Uh, this particular one, if I hover over it, this is uh, 0.30, 30, 43, and size 9, which is uh, this last one here. Right, So it's actually fairly easy to create a chart like this. And basically with this chart, it's probably easiest to start off with a blank slate and start adding uh, data into it. So let me go into a new worksheet. And I'm going to copy over uh, this data here. Right now, these are randomized data. Uh, this is a function ran between. It's generating random numbers between uh, 10 and 100 here, also here but for the z-axis, which is the size of the bubble, it's just generating random number between 1 and 10. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy over uh, this range of data, Control-C to copy, and my new sheet here, Control-V to paste. You know, actually, I'd probably do the same for the other one. Uh, let me just go ahead and copy everything here. Control-C to copy, and then go over here and just overwrite this, Control-V to paste. And I have my data here. Let me go ahead and just make these blank columns a little bit smaller. I just like to have a little space in between. And so I'm going to click outside of any of the range of data. And so once I go under insert a chart, it's just going to insert a blank chart to start with. So I'm going to go and click insert and I'm going to go under the charts group and insert a bubble chart. And this is the bubble chart I'm going to insert. This is a, it's blank right now. And what I need to do is start to select the data. So I have the chart area selected. I'm going to go into chart tools, design, and go to select data. And it's going to give me this uh, select data source, and I'm going to start to add them now. So I'm going to click on the Add button to add my first data source. The series name, I'm just going to take from up here, north. Uh, my x values is this range of data. And then my y values, let me go ahead and delete that. My y values are this range of data. And then my c values, my z values, the bubble size, is right here. right? And once I click OK, it's going to draw it for me. Uh, and move this aside here, you can see it's kind of drawn the bubbles out and it's given it north. What I can do now is start to add in other series of data. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and I'll get my same window here where I can add another series of data. So I'm going to add south here, the x values are going to be these, the y values, let me go ahead and delete this, will be over here, this range, my, v, my z values, the series bubble size is going to be this last column here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and click OK and now we have our bubble. So I'm, the rest of it's kind of just cleanup of uh, the the chart. Let me go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let me go ahead and just make this bigger here. And what I need to do is probably get rid of these grid lines. Click on the horizontal grid lines, press delete. Click on the vertical grid lines and press delete. Also what Excel has done is it's uh, brought over the X axis and started at minus 20. I don't want that to happen. I want them to start at zero, uh, zero for both the x-axis and the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this axis, right click, go under format axis, and then I'm going to set that manually to zero. And I'm press tab to execute it. I'm also going to set the vertical one here just in case if I do any changes here, it might change to anything past uh, zero, negative wise. So I'm going to set that to zero press tab and you notice that uh, instead of saying auto it says reset here now. Let me go and close this window. Now I can go ahead and just press the F9 key. Uh, what the F9 key does is it just executes uh, this particular function and it will go ahead and uh, execute that function. So if I execute that function you notice uh, the bubble start moving around and of course the sizes change because this ran between function does that. Now if we wanted to add a little bit more visual appeal to it of course we can click on here and go under design and let me see what kind of options do we have. I mean we can click on this one it'll give me that. We can click on this one it'll give me uh, that particular type of style or I can change the uh, the chart type. 
Uh, earlier there was two chart types, one for the bubble and one for a 3D bubble. If I click on that and click OK, uh, we have this little bit more kind of a fancier type of bubble chart. So I can click on something with a black background and it will give me that type of chart. Uh, if I click F9, you notice that it kind of moves it around. So if you're creating a bubble chart and you might think that, oh, you're only stuck with one series of data. Let's, let's say, for example, we have our north. But you do have the option of adding different series of data in there. Of course, you shouldn't have, add too many because that would tend to overload the senses. It's just like a pie chart when you have too many slices there. You can't get too much information out of the chart. So uh, be judicious with the amount of series that you add to a bubble chart. But, but when you do add multiple series of data, you do have the option of giving more information in your chart and adding some visual appeal to it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.